quantize. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quantize the drums here. Now again, it's a pretty good drummer, but uh, it would be the best will in the world. If you look at most drum tracks, they're slightly, they tend to be slightly ahead of the beat. Now I'll just show you that. I'm going to change my grid here to quarter notes or crotchets, and then I'm going to zoom into the drum part here. Okay, and you can see here that the drummer is just very slightly ahead of the beat sometimes. Okay, so um, they're anticipating the beat here. For example, here you can see it's ahead of the grid. And what we want to do is we want to get the drums and just get them bang on the grid. We're just going to go exactly for it. Actually, if I change the grid down to 16th note, you'll see even more that he's just slightly ahead of the beat. So to do this, there's a couple of tricks um, we need to know about. And the main um, device that we're going to use is called Beat Detective in Pro Tools. So I'm going to take an eight bar phrase here. Actually, I'm just going to, because we've got a little intro here, I want to quantize these two. I want to time correct these. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I'm in grid edit mode. OK, so that's really important. And make sure that my grid, I'm going to set my grid to semi quavers just now. So that's a 16th note. I'm actually going to select, like I said, before the, uh, the the actual start of the beat. The main rhythm starts here at bar five, like that. But because we've got this little uh, introduction drum fill, we want that to be in time as well. So I'm actually going to select from halfway through bar four, which is the third beat of bar four. OK, so that's four. If you look up here, it says bar four, third beat. And that's what this is all about. So. I want to do this for all of the drum parts. So I need to select everything. So I've got my uh, kick, my two snare microphones, my tom microphones and my overhead selected there. And I'm going to go up to, I think the beginning of bar 13 is an eight bar loop. Um, so we can have a listen to this in loop mode. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three. goes back and does that little fill again okay so we're going to time correct this and get this bang up to the grid because like i said it's a little bit ahead all the time so we'll just uh, we'll just make sure that it's not uh, um, so it's quantized fully and on in time so to do this we need to use beat detective so i've made my selection i've made a wee note of my selection as well from the third bar of uh, third beat of bar four up to the first beat of bar 13. So go to my uh, event list and uh, event menu, sorry, and select Beat Detective. And Beat Detective does a whole load of things. But the thing we're bothered about is these two. We're worried about clip separation and we're talking about clip conform. OK, so clip separation, what it's going to do is it's going to detect all of these transient peaks, all the loudest parts of these drum beats that have been recorded, and then it'll analyze them and then it'll actually make edits on those points. So just do the analysis first. So click on analyze and that's it. It's done the analysis and you can see these pink lines appear, these pink uh, vertical lines. Now we can change the sensitivity of that by moving the sensitivity control and get more and more and more and more and more of them. I don't want to go too sensitive to be honest with you. I kind of want to stop around about maybe 21, 22 percent. OK, otherwise it's just it, even if there's like a little noise in the background, it, it cuts. It makes a cut at that point. And sometimes you just have too many cuts. So having done that, I've changed the separation. You'll notice as well, my start bar, and my end bar is not correct. So I just want to put in bar four, beat three. And this is ending at bar 13 beat one so that's fine okay if i don't put that in then it's going to make very weird calculations okay so click on separate and what's happened now is all of those parts all of those pink lines have turned into edit lines so every single one of these beats in the drums has been chopped up into an individual take okay an individual clip sorry okay it still sounds the same So all it's done is just chop them all up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get those cut points, which is a transient of each of these drum beats, and we're going to make them conform. OK, so when we conform, we're just telling it that we want it to line up to the grid. OK, now watch what happens here when I click and conform. OK, you may have seen a few wee gaps appearing there, but what's happened if we zoom in now, you can actually see that the notes have been shifted to the beginning of the grid. And that's what we want. 
Okay. So having done that, we can listen to it now. Friends, inquisitive friends are asking me what's come over me. A change, there's been a change. There we go. So it's absolutely bang on the grid now. Now, if we isolated that, we might hear little glitches and a few little hiccups as the um, as the spaces are getting filled up where the notes change. So normally what we do if we've got an edit of two parts, two clips together and there's a little glitch, what we do is we uh, sort of paste over the cracks as it were with a uh, crossfade. Now if you were to sit and do crossfades on every single one of these it would take you hours. Thankfully Pro Tools has got a function called batch crossfades. So when we still have all of these tracks selected like this we just hit command F as usual for crossfades and then we can put in, I'm going to put in equal power crossfades in these. I prefer an equal power. Okay, I'm going to put in all of these crossfades. This 10 milliseconds, the crossfade might be a little bit too small. So I'm just going to put in 50 milliseconds there. Still 50 thousandths of a second. Uh, and then we hit OK. Having done that, and it will automatically put in crossfades across all of those edits. Friends and so if there were ever any glitches before, they don't exist anymore. Absolutely bang in time. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to consolidate these clips. Now what that means is I'm just going to glue them all together as a single audio take. As long as I'm happy with the sound of them all, which I am. Okay. So having done that, I just select all the tracks. Then I go to the edit menu. I select consolidate clip. And wallop, we've got cons fully consolidated audio again, and it's 100% in time. So again, if you zoom into that on the 16th beats, on the 16th notes, the semiquavers, you'll see that the transient of every single drum at every single beat is bang in line with the grid. So we quantized the drums. We've done audio quantization utilizing Beat Detective.